Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series Getting Started with Digitizing Using the MySona Embroidery Software. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing some of the features on the Home tab within the Digitizing module, as well as showing you how you can use the Film Strip and the Design Panel as tools when you're digitizing as well. If you're a subscriber or own a copy of MySona, why not subscribe to our free YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our future films. In this video, I'm on a PC with the Platinum level of software installed. I've inserted a design file in here that's one of the free downloadable samples from mysonet.com. If I click on the box select and select this object, you can see that we've got orange nodes here and this strip on the film strip is orange and that's telling me that it's a group design. So I'm going to ungroup it. So if I click on the pull down arrow, I can ungroup that. So the film strip is the order that instructions will go to your embroidery machine when you're stitching out. So in this case, it will start off with this yellow uh, flower before then starting work on stitching out the green flower on top of it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click on the uh, green color change. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm going to hold down my shift key and then I'm going to uh, do a left click and that has selected uh, basically the green flower and that orange uh, center in there. Now you'll be familiar with the cut, paste and duplicate features if you've watched the earlier series, Mastering the Basics of MySonet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. It's put it down here on my clipboard, although it looks slightly different. And that's telling me that this is a design object. These are not stitches yet. What I'm going to do is I am going to click paste. And then I am going to click and just drag this flower over here and what I can do is I am going to click on the rotate so I'm going to rotate it just 45 degrees I'm going to click on the modify block and I am going to take this down to 80 percent there we go and then I'm going to click OK just going to zoom in a little bit to start off with so you can really see what I'm up to and what I'm going to do is I am going to click the edit points and it's um, showcasing the uh, nodes over here because that was the last um, the last point on the film strip. And so here's a top tip. I'm going to click on edit points so I know it's active because that's green. And then what you can do is you can click anywhere within the shape that you want to um, edit the object that you want to edit. And you can see I've got my uh, white nodes showing here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a left click and I'm going to drag this. And so I'm changing the shape of these petals very simply. And you can see if you look at what's happening when uh, I'm actually editing and changing these points, you can see that actually the stitchery does go under this orange circle, but because the orange circle is then after the uh, green petals on the film strip, it stitches out on top of them. So basically, the order that your objects are on the film strip is the order that they will be stitched out. But you can see that this is beginning to actually change quite radically. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to click on the yellow flower and if I click on insert points you might be able to see my cursor has got a little uh, plus by it and then when I click on that what's actually happening is um, I'm putting these nodes in what I'm going to do on this one I'm going to hold down my shift key so you can see that actually we've got a sort of super pointy one there um, I'm not going to hold down my shift key at this point and, oh, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, my edit points because 
I'm just going to change these and I want this to go back to a round point so I'm not holding down my shift key and I'm just going to click on that. If I needed to delete points I could do exactly the same way as in 13 except it's in reverse and if I wanted to change my nodes into Bezier handles or vice versa I can uh, use the convert points button for that. But there's even more that I can do in terms of changing the characteristics at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click and that opens up the fill area and line. And there's a couple of films in this series where I explain all these options um, as well as uh, the characteristics of using pattern fill. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this slider up and in this case I'm going to go with a slightly different fill and I'm going to click OK. So straight away you can see how easy it is to actually really begin to play around and change the characteristics of the objects in my embroidery. And what I'm going to do is in this case I'm going to hit duplicate. Now I need to select it so I'm going to hit the box select and I'm going to just drag this down here. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, so I'm just going to hit this. And I'm just going to click off this box because I just want to take a moment to talk about the two options here in terms of either freehand select or point select. So you can actually see that we've got this area in here where it might be a little bit tricky to try and pick that up just using a standard box select. And so what you can do is you could draw your line or if you wanted to you could put your points in put your nodes in using the point select and there it is it's selected and I can then start moving that around and what I'm actually going to do in this case is I am going to modify this block and again just like before I'm going to knock this down till it's about 30 mil yep that will do and so you can see I've got this little uh, um, star going on here. Just bring that in a little bit closer. So let's talk about what's going on in the insert part of the uh, home tab. So if I wanted to, I could insert a super design. Let me show you. So I'm going to click on that. And all the choices, so there's 2,097 uh, super designs that I can put in. I'm going to go with the Encore. I'm going to choose a shape and I particularly like this one. And in actual fact, I'm going to decide that size. And in this case, I'm going to go with 40 mil and I'm going to click insert. Now, the super design will always go into the center of the hoop but it will always go immediately after, let me just close this down, immediately after whatever object was active on the film strip at this point. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring that over here. Because there's another neat little feature over here to do with working with the design panel that you may not be familiar with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this brown circle that was in the centre here. And what I'm now going to do is... I'm going to click on the group. I'm going to go to layout order and go move to the back of the design. And if you look at this icon, you can also see it at the bottom of the film strip. I'm going to click on that. And can you see what's actually happened is it's moved that to the back. And we've got this little brown center is actually still visible at the front. Um, so uh, actually unchecking uh, parts of the colours means that you can do things to the shapes around them without affecting that aspect that you've unchecked. So let's talk about the other features on here. So if I've got an EDO design file, I could insert it. If I wanted to insert some lettering, I could do. Just like the main part of the software, the default is the traditional Georgia, but working in digitizing, you can only insert one letter at a time. And they always go into this bottom uh, left hand corner. 
but I'm going to bring that up. I'm just going to close this down for a moment because you can actually see what's actually going on here is the software has actually broken it down to every single stage of stitching that lettering out. So if you wanted to, you could do some real minor tweaking. But what I would say to you, and I've opened the digitizing module from the main embroidery uh, module. So you, it's saying that edit from embroidery. So I can go down to here and I can actually open this up and I can see this in the main software. And I would say if you're doing lots with lettering, my advice would actually be to do this. I'm going to click finish. So I'm closing down the digitizing window and I would then go letter. And if I wanted to do my name, I could type it in up here and click apply. And here it is. And that's just a much easier way. If I wanted to use any of the fancy shapes, those kind of things, I can do it at that point. But one of the great strengths with the MySona embroidery software is what I can do is I can go back and edit it because this is a design object. This icon is saying that. So I can do a right click and I can go edit in digitizing. And here is my embroidery design. And what I can do is I can do a box select select that I'm going to delete that out and if I hop back over to um, the main embroidery screen here it is but there's one more feature on the insert part of the home tab that I want to talk about and in actual fact I've got a new blank empty window and that is the insert embroidery feature I think this is hugely hugely underrated let me show you how it works. So I'm going to click on this and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up an embroidery. So I'm going to open this single iris and again this is from the free download samples from mysonet.com. But can you see this is a VP4, this is not an EDO sample, this is an actual embroidery. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click open. And look what's happened over here. The software has actually turned this piece of embroidery into design objects. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to ungroup. And another way to ungroup is to do a right click and click ungroup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose edit points and I'm going to click object here. And if I wanted to, I could change where those nodes are. So what I'm actually doing is I'm making this part of my iris flower much, much bigger. And again, if I wanted to, I've done a right click which opens up the fill area in line and I could change that fill pattern. I'm going to click OK. So can you see I've got these waves in here and I can also change the angle that they're at. So you can see how you can take an existing embroidery and really customize it and make it personal to yourself. And then of course, we've got the life view so that I can have a look at it more closely and the design player over here that if I want to see how it's gonna stitch out, I can do. Hopefully you can see how useful the tools on the home tab are, as well as how you can use the film strip and the design panel to refine and edit your embroideries. If you found this a useful film, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can help you get started with digitizing using MySonet embroidery software.